Hi, Carrie Cutler here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours. And today we're talking about a sticky subject, the equal sign. Often when kids see the equal sign, they aren't sure what it means. They think it means to do something, and often they think it means to add, because that's their favorite operation. So today let's talk about some of those misconceptions and some things that you can do to combat them. So first of all, when kids see something like an expression like this, it says five equals five, they say, uh, there's not a problem there. That doesn't mean anything. If they see something like this, four equals two plus two, they say, ugh, that just looks wrong because the order is opposite of how they've seen it since they were little. If they see something like this, four plus three is equivalent to five plus two, they say, well, there's really two problems there. How can that be? Hmm. Uh, they're fine with something that looks like this. 14 plus five equals 19, or has the same value as 19. They say, oh, that's easy. But then when we take that five out and we have a missing add end problem, 14 plus some number has a value of 19, they'll often just grab those two numbers, notice this equal sign or this plus sign, and then they just add them together and they say, oh, the answer is 33. So they'd say 14 plus 33 is equal in value to 19 without really understanding what that equal sign means. And finally, if they might see something like this, five plus 14 has the same value as some number plus four. They just grab all those numbers and they add them all up because, you know, there's an add sign there, there's an equal sign there, and they can't think of what else they need to do. So you need to use as precise language as you can and give kids lots of concrete experiences with that equal sign before you jump to all of that abstract stuff. Here are some suggestions that I have for you. Be as precise as you can about the language that you use when you're showing, introducing the equal sign, and when you're talking about the equal sign. For instance, when you have a problem like this one, you can use, instead of equals, you can say, has the same value as. Four has the same value as two plus two. Or on this one, you can say 14 and some number have the value of 19. And that helps kids to see that that equal sign has that meaning of has the value of or has the same value as. Later, when kids get a little bit, or earlier, before you even get that far, you should introduce the equal sign as a, a, a symbol of equality, okay? And you can do this with a pan balance. This is my regular old pan balance, ta-da! And I have put an equal sign on it right here in the center on a sticky note. And I would do this right with the kids. I would say, hey, look you guys, I've got a sticky note and it has this symbol on it. Do you know what this symbol means? And they'll say, oh, that's the equal sign. You say, well, what does it mean? It means, and they won't be able to say. So you can try this experiment. I've got three cubes here. I've got seven cubes here. Oh, oh my goodness. And you can say, are they equal? Oh, no, it's not fair. They don't have the same amount. Is it balanced? No, it's not balanced. How many do we need to add to this side? Or how many do we need to take away here to make it balanced? Oh, we have to take away four so that three has the same value as three. And you can mess around with the colors of the cubes and you can mess around with all different, different types of manipulatives as long as they weigh the same to get used to that idea of balance, of some things having the same value as or being balanced or being equal. Hey, I hope you're having a great time building math positive mindsets with your kids. Keep them thinking about the true meaning of the mathematics that they're doing, and they'll have conceptual understanding that'll take them into the future. Have a great day.